Um, it doesn't matter if you are a single agent or a member of a huge high producing team. This is relevant for every single one of you because the numbers don't lie. That's really what the, the emphasis here is, is. If you play to the strengths of the numbers, you'll convert better in your business. All right, LCA, Lab Code Agents, family and nation, thanks so much for tuning in for another live webinar here. I'm Greg Fowler, founder of Lion Bolt Media and one of your humble moderators here hanging out with my good friend, Tyler Fenn. He is the VP of sales with Red X. Incredible man, incredible mind. And we were chatting before we went live here. Uh, Tyler's got an incredible amount of content distilled down into 30 minutes. So I want to encourage everybody, get your pens and paper out, your pads, whatever you're doing, take massive notes. If you don't catch the whole thing, you can get the recording. Uh, but, but Tyler, I can't thank you enough for taking the time to jump on this. The The title that we have for today, and I know we're going to dive a little bit deeper into it, how to generate contacts on demand and consistently set listing appointments. So Tyler, where do you want to start, my friend? I know you got a lot coming at us. So, yeah, no, let's just start with the title slide right there. I, I, um, uh, I had to, I had a broker um, reach out to me recently. Uh, a, a guy he owns thirty offices and about a thousand agents, and he was like, "The markets are weird," hmm. and and he's preaching to the choir. I'm like, I know, but he's like, "The markets are weird," and I'm trying. I've got to find ways to keep my my agents busy. You know, and he was so he was reaching out and looking at Red X at a corporate level to go, how can I provide provide data? And we had a really cool conversation, Greg, because uh, this guy got it. He understood like everything's a numbers game, right? Mm -hmm. Everything is if if you if you look at the data, there's there's like I I would consider myself a spreadsheet ninja. Like I think that I'm pretty dang good in a spreadsheet. Like it, you give me it. raw data, and I can find all kinds of stuff, both relevant and not relevant, in that information. Uh, and and I love that he understood the numbers game. He was like, look, I, I've got to have more leads, but I've got to have higher converting leads. I can't just be, you know, getting online leads that convert at, you know, 0.25% in 16 months. I need stuff that's going to convert now. So sure. um, it, it really is a numbers game, right? And and when you when you understand the numbers, when you understand what's going on, you can really have a good pulse on what's happening in your business. So we'll jump in. Um, I've got some slides we'll go through, uh, if that's all right with you. And, uh, Great. we'll just, we'll just take it away. We'll just see if we can, if we can blow some minds here. So if there's questions, jump in, but, uh, but, but let's just, let's just go. Um, yeah. we're, we're going to, we're going to look at, we, we talk, we're talking about contacts on demand, right? How do we, um, how do we have more real conversations with real people that lead to, uh, a real estate transaction and a real estate relationship. That's ultimately what we're going to jump into. We're going to look at at uh, at some of the things uh, that top prospectors use to turn geo leads into a listing appointment every single day. Okay, so that's the end goal. Is I want for people to walk away from this and go, okay, I now I know I know what I can do and the tools to use it to go get a, a listing appointment every single day. Like, like I don't know about you, Greg, but most agents that I know. If they had a listing appointment every single day of the week, five days a week, 260 days a year, they they would they, their business would be phenomenally different. Would you agree? A hundred percent. There's no doubt. yes, right, no doubt. right. So so that, let's just get into it. Let's just look at how we do that because the truth is, it's not a difficult thing. My name is Tyler Fenn. As Greg mentioned, thank you, Greg, for that uh, that humbling intro. Um, I uh, am the VP of sales here at Red X. This is uh, my beautiful family. I've got four sons and then the rose amongst the thorns. My wife, who is, uh, is uh, uh, you, you can always tell a sales guy by looking at the sales guy's spouse, right? If, if, uh, if right, it's not about convincing her that, that it's not about showing her that I'm something more than I am. It's about convincing her that marrying down is okay, right? That's the <laughs> true mark of a good salesperson, right? Well, so uh, we're going to, we're, 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 we're going to, just so you know, Tyler, I'm in the same boat. So I I I, I love that that intro to your family. I agree. Uh, uh, I I've always, I've always said that's the mark of a true sales guy. Look at the spouse, but not because they tricked him, that that they made him realize that it's okay to marry down. So that's uh, that's where we're at. Let's jump in. 
Greg, like you said, I've, I've taken an hour long webinar and I've chopped it up. And that's why I skipped a few slides here uh, to get to the real meat and potatoes. That's really what we want to talk about and, and, uh, and get through here. So we're going to talk about GeoLeads, right? GeoLeads is, is the name of a product here at Red X. Everybody else would know this more commonly, though, as just listen, just sold, circle prospecting, neighborhood search, geo farming. There's, uh, there's a whole bunch of, of words that we use. We call them geo leads. It's a geographic lead type. It's the ability for somebody to take a subdivision, a neighborhood, a zip code, a town, and have all of the homeowner contact information generated so that I have a list of people that I can communicate with. But that list is just the beginning because ultimately what this does if uh, if if you if you've got several thousand new lists or new new leads like this every single month you you have a near infinite number of of leads that you can work most people are not able to work that many leads effectively in a month which means you'll never run out which is awesome the mm -hmm. downside to that greg and i'm sure that you understand this just because you have an unlimited number of leads does not mean that there's an unlimited number of successful tactics to be able to convert those leads, right? In fact, I would argue more unsuccessful tactics than there are than there are successful ones. And sure. uh, and so that's that's what we want to go through here in the next few minutes. That's what I tried to I tried to trim all the fat so that we can just talk. I've got five techniques Ooh. of how to leverage these. Okay, so um, it, this it, 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 for everybody listening here, it doesn't matter. If you're a brand new agent, it doesn't matter if you're a 30 year veteran in the industry. It doesn't matter if you work buyers or sellers. Uh, it doesn't matter if you are a single agent or a member of a huge high producing team. This is relevant for every single one of you because the numbers don't lie. That's really what the, the emphasis here is, is if you, if you, if you play to the strengths of the numbers, you'll convert better in your business. Uh, wow. The average Red X user, I, I did have some slides here. The average Red X user converts 32 transactions a year, where wow. the average full-time real estate agent, full-time being the key there, full-time real estate agent is usually about 12. So when you look at that, the average Reddix user is converting nearly three times as many transactions, and it's because of some of these techniques that we're going to talk about. So let me just jump right in. We're going to look at technique number one. Everybody um, who is on this, either live or on the recording, Greg, here's what I want to do, okay. is if you guys send an email to sales at redx.com, and say, I want the ebook. I will send you a script ebook that has all of these scripts that we're going to look at and more so that you always have scripts right there in front of you. These are proven scripts. Red X has been around 20 years. We've been tweaking and analyzing and tweaking and analyzing. These scripts are proven and they work over and over and over again. But we're going to go through a bunch of them real quick. So if you can't keep up, that's okay. Send an email to sales at redx.com and I'll send you the ebook. Uh, and uh, and that's that's for everybody. We'll just hook everybody up with that. Or maybe it'd be better if I send it to Jake, and Jake can can get it out. I, we'll figure that out. We'll Either make way, we'll make sure I, everybody gets I, it. I love that, Tyler. And again, just giving that it takes a little pressure edge off for everybody just listening right. and into these five steps because I know this is going to uh, shatter some worlds here in a positive. So yeah, this is great. Okay, let's do this. Keeping the seller promise. Okay, this is a technique that you're going to use. When you have an active listing, okay? So this isn't just sold or, or excuse me, just listed. This is when you have an active listing. This will work around your listing. It'll work around an existing listing that's been on on, uh, on the market longer than average. Uh, it'll work when you are uh, prospecting around someone else's listing. This is a great way to go. But ultimately, it's going to start because you're finding buyers for sellers. I did a webinar recently with someone uh, that the name of that webinar was find a buyer for any listing in one hour. Mm. And, and, and this, and this was the technique that we use is really, really cool. He did, he, he ended up, he ended up finding buyers and picking up a listing in that one hour that we were using this technique. Mm. Okay. You're going to go on a listing appointment. Let's say you go, you're taking a new listing. Um, after you get that listing, you're going to knock five doors to the right, five to the left, and you're going to invite people to an open, an upcoming open house using this script. Now, this does mean that there needs to be some preparation in that listing appointment. You might want to plan for that open house, uh, mm -hmm. but you're going to follow a script that looks like this. You're going to go, hey, my name is Tyler. I'm a local real estate agent. I just listed your neighbor's home, the Joneses, and I listed it at list price, $329,000. I'm going to be hosting an open house this Saturday at 2 p.m. I'd like to personally invite you to attend. And then 
you get to ask them a couple of questions that are going to do a few things that we'll talk about here, okay? Do you know anybody interested in buying or selling in the next 30 days? Or, and are you interested in buying or selling in the next 30 days? Okay, mm -hmm. super, super simple script. You're face-to-face, -face, you're on the doors with people. Um, mm -hmm. Really, really simple for you to get in here. Here's another trick that I've used when uh, when knocking doors around open houses. Greg, I don't have a slide for this, but I love this one. Okay. I, I go like this. I go, hey, I'm going to be ho uh, uh, hosting an open house this Saturday at 2 p.m. I'd like to personally invite you to attend. I'd also, I'd also like to ask for a little bit of forgiveness because there's going to be a lot of traffic on Saturday on your street, far more than normal. <laughs> so, you know, just, I mean, this, this property is going to go quick because when you do that, what are they in their mind? They go, well, what's so special about my neighbor's house? Exactly. What's what's so special that there's going to be that much traffic? And now all of a sudden they're coming through the open house. Now all of a sudden they're going, oh, well, let me see. There's And you start to generate some more traffic. Okay. So mm -hmm. super simple script, local real estate agent, list your neighbor's house at 329. I'm hosting mm -hmm. an open house, personal invitation. And do you know anybody looking to buy or sell in the next 30 days? And are you interested in buying or selling in the next 30 days? Then go about your day. If possible, you want to return to your to your office that afternoon for an afternoon prospecting session. So what you're going to do is you're going to call up to 500 of the closest homes in geographically closest to that property that you just listed. Okay, so you're going to call those people and you're going to follow a similar script. Hey, I just listed a home right around the corner from you, right behind you, right across the street, whatever. Uh, and you're going to follow the same script. We listed at 329. Like to personally invite you to an open house. We're hosting this, this Saturday at 2 p.m. Do you know anybody looking to buy or sell in the next 30 days? Are you looking to buy or sell in the next 30 days? Wow. Okay. So super, super similar scripts or between the, the being on the doors and the, uh, and, and the phone, but a very, very simple to the point script. Uh, and what happens is over the next couple of days, you're going to try to try to reach out again to the people that didn't answer, right? So you're going to spend a few days prospecting to generate traffic for this open house. That's the that's the goal here. The technique is we want to find buyers for the sellers that we have. And when you proactively prospect to fill those open houses, your open houses will be filled. And that's the thing. In my experience, Greg, and you, it's probably the same for you. You either love open houses or you hate them. Sure. And and there's only one determining factor that determines what how you feel about it, and it's how much traffic comes through the open house. Would you agree? I, I would. And, like and if, <laughs> well, the Tyler, the fact that you had mentioned this, I mean, it's such a strategic uh, execution of. You're not just checking the boxes or following the norm. You're really executing this at a high level, and this is a repeatable action for every property that you had mentioned. And ultimately, at least in my opinion, and you know, correct me if I'm wrong, you get back what you put in. And the way that you're setting 100%. this up for everybody here, I think is huge. So here's the other thing. And this is why, this is why, let me go back a couple of slides here, because this is why this, this step is so important right here. This knock five doors to the right, five to the left. The reason that this is so powerful is because neighbors talk. And the moment you're, the, the neighbor that you knocked into runs into your client, they're going to go, oh, yeah, your agent, he was knocking my door. And what that does for the confidence that they have in you as the professional skyrockets, right? The moment they're like, oh, man, this dude's really working to, to get my property sold. It, I mean, there's so many fringe benefits of this. But if you can fill an open house, not only do you walk away with with – a, a solid chance that you've got a buyer for for that particular property, but hopefully you've already added, or you've also added five or six or eight or ten other people into the database that came through that open house, right? That's why an open house is so beneficial when it's full. full. But this is not the 1980s, right? In the 1980s, you could put balloons at the end of the street, and and agents would would get with their clients Saturday and they drove around and looked for open houses that's how you did business back then sure. you that's nowadays if all you do guys and gals is put a balloon at the end of the street with a sign that says open house I promise that time is going to be wasted you might get one maybe two people that come through there and and you're going to feel like man that just didn't go very well and your clients are going to lose confidence because you're like no we only had one person come through or I sat there, you know, without any traffic through the open house. You want to pack the open house. You want to fill it. And you do that by advertising, by calling people on the phone and generating business for an open house by personally making invitations. It takes time, it takes energy, it takes effort, 
but it pays off in so many ways that we've already talked about right here. So here's what ends up happening. Number one, you do generate buyers for your listing. If you can get 20 or 30 or 40 couples or parties through your open house, for sure, you're going to walk away with a, with, with a, 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 a contract for that. You're going to double sideboard transactions, right? This is always in, in Utah, we call it limited agency. In some states, it's dual agent, but we all love a full 6%. Am I right? So sure. if we can, if we can, you know, make sure that we're representing both parties in the transaction, that, I mean, that's that's something that we love to do. You're going to do that a lot when you go through this and you're going to generate traffic for your open house. But here's the other thing. Every single person that you talk to, both on the phone and in the open house, you're going to find the people who, oh, did you see that? I just gave it a peace sign. A balloons popped up on That was one of the, there we go. Yeah, Zoom is changing. I mean, if, if, you, ra if you raise your hand like this, I think it ends up raising your hand. Or yeah. Up. yeah. <laughs> so cool. So cool. I didn't know that about the peace sign though. That's cool. <laughs> uh, but here's the other thing is when you talk to people, you add people to your database. You're going to, when you're calling 500 neighbors, you're going to find people, Greg, that are like, oh yeah, actually we have been talking about selling or, yep. oh yeah, actually, actually we, we actually are looking for a, a, an investment property right now. That's so weird that you called. <laughs> so weird that I called. Would you like to meet so that we can talk about what your needs are? I mean, it's, it's such an easy way. And, and I, I know I'm coming from Red X. So something like expireds and for sale by owners is like, I'm certainly biased towards those as a great lead, but as a great lead source, but they're a little more confrontational, are they not? I mean, there's, there's, there's a little bit more friction with an expired listing as opposed to something like this, where you're calling out of the blue. This person likely hasn't, uh, hasn't communicated with a real estate agent in any meaningful way in the recent history. And so these are such a great way. Uh, these geo leads are such a great way for you to get out there and generate contacts. Every wow. single day, if you're on the phones or on the doors, you're going to generate contacts, which is really cool. Let's and, look and, at technique number two. And Tyler, before you jump into number two, I mean, that was incredible just in and of itself. I and mean, we got a few questions, but I, I did want to at least address Jason here. He asked the question, how soon before the open house do you recommend doing the door knocking? Do you have any thoughts on that before you, you move on to number two? I would say if 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 you're within seven days, any time in there is great okay. because because knocking the the doors on either side of your listing um, is there's a there's a few reasons why you do that as we've mentioned right number one you want to make a personal invitation number two neighbors are going to talk you want for that confidence to be built in your in your ability in your work ethic in your desire to to um, earn the commission right. Uh, and so that's going to happen. But if it's longer than seven, if it's if it's more than seven days in advance, uh, people people are going to come up with other things that they want to do that are more important. But if you knock on a on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and uh, in in preparation for a Saturday open house, that's a great time to do it. I also love the line that I mentioned earlier. Hey, you, you know what? Just so you know, there's going to be a lot more traffic on your street than normal because of this open house. We expect this one to go really quickly. Uh, that's another great reason to knock on the door. Just be like, hey, just, you know, listed your neighbor's home just so you're aware. Like that that type of rapport that you can build with people on the uh, on the street is always really, really, really valuable. Because the truth is, if I get one sign in a yard, the ability be for, for me to put a second sign in a second yard in the same neighborhood goes up tremendously. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've all seen that, right? You get one sign in the yard and pretty soon there's this tipping point where, where you get one, you get two, all of a sudden you've got seven, right? Because everybody's like, oh, well, I, that, that Tyler, he, he's, he's really aggressive, right? Getting old sold. Uh, and that's, that's really what we want to do, right? Love that. Okay, and, you're this might this might answer this this next question here too, and and, and not to, not to slow the process down, but you're just such a wealth of knowledge here. Everybody yeah. wants to keep getting information from you, my friend. So, is the same principle applies with the seven days as you mentioned? How uh, Ethan asks, how far out do you schedule the open house to uh, essentially for enough time to promote it successfully? Do you have a kind of window of time? Is it still the seven days? Yeah. Ahead? I, th I think it depends on the method of prospecting. So Red X has a tool called Ad Builder. 
Um, and and Ad Builder is is a really cool tool that allows you to create an ad on social media, Facebook and Instagram, and then target a specific audience. So uh, I use I use Ad Builder to 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 uh, advertise open houses. I usually run an ad five to six days prior to the open house, Love and it. I run it geographically to uh, uh, about twenty five hundred people closest to that property. Wow. Um, Five to seven days is about as as long as I go. Again, more than that, more advertising more than seven days out. Um, I, I don't see any added benefit. I don't see a huge change. Again, the numbers matter, right? The data matters. I don't see a huge change in traffic if you advertise 14 days ahead of time versus just seven. But you definitely want to be within that three to five, I'd say, is is ideal. Uh, if you're if you're hosting a Saturday open house, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are your best days to get out and knock doors, to make those phone calls and make those personal invitations. Because if they don't have plans two days from now, they're not likely to schedule something that's going to interfere. So uh, it, it's uh, it's kind of that happy medium between between I'm calling Saturday morning and not enough time to prepare versus enough time for them to find something better. Well said. Love that. Thank you. Thank you for the uh, clarification. Great question. You're welcome. Uh, Ethan and Jason, thank you so much. C continue, my friend. You you're on a roll. Okay. I, I know you got more to cover, so I don't want to slow it down. That's okay. That's okay. We're already behind here, but that's fine. <laughs> we'll go as long. Well, I'll, I'll go till you just like cancel um, until Jake goes. We're Jake, give us, off, right? give us time, Jake. Give us time. This is gold. <laughs> this is gold. Okay. So let's look at this. J this is your typical just listed campaign or excuse me, just sold campaign. You can do this around your listings. You can do it around your office's listings or your team. In fact, you can do it around any listing that has recently sold. It works no matter what. You just modify the script ever so slightly. But this is such a great way for you to come in because a lot of times what we see is we see um, – we see turnover in a neighborhood that it, they, it usually comes in waves, Greg, right? We usually see like, if you see, if you see two or three houses for sale over the next six months, you're likely going to see 10 or 12, right? I mean, it's, there's this, these waves of transactions that come through and this is our ability to capitalize on that wave of transactions is coming through. Okay. So just sold, we're going to come through uh, and, and advertise the ability to get so homes sold in that neighborhood. Okay. So you're going to put, the address of that uh, of that particular listing into the GeoLeads tool. You're going to generate um, anywhere from 100 to 1,000. In this technique, I usually say 100 at a time because you can get through that in a single prospecting session. But 100 of the closest homes with the contact information, and you're going to call to notify that this, least, this the, uh, listing recently sold. Okay, So the script looks like this. Hey, my name is Tyler. I'm a local real estate agent. I recently sold a home in your neighborhood or a home recently sold in your neighborhood. If it's not your listing, again, it doesn't matter if it's got your name on it or not. Love it. Because the reason is to notify them that the listing sold. That's why I'm, I'm calling to let you know that a home recently sold in your neighborhood. It sold for, or we sold it for, and then, and then insert interesting statistic, insert interesting data. It almost doesn't matter what it is. We sold it for... 102% of asking price, or we sold it in, you know, we had it under contract in 24 hours, or we sold it and closed within 14 days, whatever it is, right? Insert interesting statistic here. Right now is a great time to sell because markets are hot, interest rates are low, which is not the case where we're at right now, right? But whatever interest rates are coming down, they've come down X percent, the, you know, the, the Fed is forecasting in, you know, mid fives by the end of the year, whatever, uh, low inventory, that's something like in my market here in Utah, low inventory is still very much a thing. I mean, even just in the last few months, I mean, we're seeing multiple offers come back. I mean, it's it's starting to feel a little like 2021 again, or 2022 again, which is really weird. But the whole purpose of this line is simply to advertise your ability to, to get homes sold. And even if it's not your listing, you're advertising the the, the market's ability to get homes sold, right? So if you can't say we sold it for X, Y, Z, then you say it sold for X, Y, Z, indicating that the market is moving, indicating that if there's a need for real estate um, expertise in your in your life right now, I'm the one to get it done. Mm. Do you know of anybody looking to buy or sell in their home with similar results in the next 30 days? And are you interested in buying or selling your home with similar results in the next 30 days? Now you're going to see Greg, you're going to see that these two questions right here at the bottom of the screen, 
these are like the common theme. Like when you're, if you're prospecting in a geo leads capacity in any of the techniques that I'm teaching or any other one, mm -hmm. these two questions become kind of the consistent, the, the consistent, excuse me, call to action. Mm -hmm. Do you know anybody looking to buy or sell in the next 30 days? Are you looking to buy or sell in the next 30 days? Because the answer is either going to be yes or no. It makes it so simple. If they go, yes, then great. Let's ask clarifying questions to, to pursue that. If they say no, you go, no problem. Do you have an agent that's keeping you up to date with what's happening in the markets right now? Beautiful. And they're going to respond. They, they might go, they might say, well, you know, my sister's an agent or so-and-so and, and, and awesome. Are they keeping you up to date on what's happening in the market? And, and this is always the answer. Well, yeah. you know, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> right. Very rarely are people like, yes, I get a weekly email from my agent and this is what it explains. Like that just doesn't happen. So here's my favorite line. This isn't, this isn't in the script, but this is my favorite line. Would you mind if I kept in touch from time to time mm. to help, to help you know what's happening in the market? Love that. I'm not, I, I'm not, I'm not getting you to commit to weekly emails or text messages all the time. You just go, Hey, would you mind if I kept in touch from time to time? Yeah. That way, when you are ready to buy or sell, I'm here. Love it's that. such an easy way for you to throw people into your database and then, and then it's just follow up. Then it's, you know, six months down the road, you go, Hey, you said six months ago that you were looking at a year. Is that still the timeline? Wow. Easy follow up call. Really, really simple. Okay. So do you know anybody looking to buy or sell with similar results or are you looking to buy or sell with similar, similar results in the next 30 days? Really, really easy for you to find those people that are in that process of going, yeah, actually, Actually, yes, actually, and and picking those people up. And then worst case scenario, hey, would you mind if I kept in touch from time to time? Mm -hmm. Would you mind if I texted you my my uh, my business card? Hey, what's the best email address for you? Throw them in your database and and build a database, right? If you could if you could add five emails to your database every single day doing this, in a few years you'd have several thousand highly engaged people. That you have a that you have a relationship with. I mean, this is okay. such an awesome way to go. Okay, the just listed, just sold. You're going to generate listing appointments in that same area. That's the goal. That's the ultimate goal. But if you're not generating appointments, you're going to be you're going to be putting people in your database, like we've talked about. You're going to be going, hey, would you mind if I followed up from time to? Would you mind if I kept in touch from time to time, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and go from there? Okay, next technique three. Any questions from technique two? That was pretty straightforward. You nailed it. And you're on a okay. roll, my friend. We're we're on to number three. I love this. And J Jake gave okay. us some grace. So he says, you're good nice. with a smiley. So, okay. so we're good. Let's keep rolling, my nice. friend. Nice. We'll see if we, we'll, we'll make, we'll, we'll hold him to that. <laughs> uh, okay. So technique number three, land and expand. Land and expand is not a Red X term, right? This is, this is a common business term when somebody goes, hey, we want to move into new geographic markets. This is, this is your best case scenario, best case technique for you to move into new neighborhoods, new zip codes, and new price ranges, okay? So guys, if, if you're looking, going, hey, my average price range, my average commission check, my average, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, listing price per, per transaction, whatever, if it's not where you want it to be, mm -hmm. this is such an awesome way because that's the number one thing, Greg, when people go, how do I move into luxury? Mm -hmm. well, you just have to start this is a great way to do it because the truth is all of us know the zip codes in our markets that have higher than average listing price, right? Mm -hmm. We all know the the home values in in Alpine, Utah are greater than Payson, Utah, right? We we if you're in Utah County, you know that. And so this is a this is a great way for you to increase or excuse me, move into new geographic areas or new price ranges, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna, uh, the easiest way to do this is you can go through your MLS, although you may know this information already. What you're doing with these, with these steps right here is you're trying to find an area with higher turnover than average. Okay. We want to find, we want to find a neighborhood, a zip code, a subdivision, a, a city that has higher turnover than than the market average, okay? That's why these steps are here. Log into your MLS, you wanna look for high homes listed to home sold ratio in the last 90 days, calculate a few different areas, and then use the GeoLeads tool to generate homeowner contact information in that area. Some of you off the top of your head might go, I know where those areas are right now, and you could bypass these steps. But the goal here is we wanna go into places where, uh, where, where we're not 
currently. Okay. Hey, I'm Tyler. I'm a local real estate agent. I'm calling because, so just like the last script, I said, look, you're calling to, to advertise that the market is ripe for selling homes. Same thing here. I'm calling because there's been a high turnover of homes in your area in the, in the last 90 days. That is the purpose for the call. I'm calling because there's been a high turnover. Uh, my company, I, my team, we sell homes for faster, for more money with less headache than X percent of agents in the area. If you don't know these stats for yourself, like if you're not a top 250 performer in your, in your, uh, in your realtor association, that's fine. Your team, your brokerage, your company, all of those have, have numbers that you can use. So yeah. you just, you just go to the next layer up. So if you're a member of a team, you go, well, what are my team stats? And if the team stats aren't impressive enough, you go, what are my company stats mm -hmm. um, and uh, or office and then company and so on, right? So makes it really easy for you to be able to go, hey, I confidently, we confidently sell homes for less, for more, for, for you know, less headache, et cetera. Do you know anybody looking to buy or sell in the next 30 days? And are you looking to buy or sell in the next 30 days? Okay, so again, these are all so similar in, in how it, that, that everybody should be able to walk away from this webinar and start using all of these techniques, depending on what they're trying to accomplish. Mm -hmm. If they've got active listings that they're trying to find buyers for, they're going to use that first script. If they're, if they've, if they've just closed deals and they want, they want additional listings in the same neighborhood, they're going to use the, the previous one. Technique number three that we're looking at right here. If you guys want to move into geographic areas where you currently don't have a presence, mm -hmm. this is the way to do it. Because again, these two questions at the bottom here, do you know anybody looking to buy or sell? Are you looking to buy or sell? Mm -hmm. This simple, the, the, the response is going to be the same every time. It's either going to be yes or no. Mm -hmm. Well, it's going to be yes, no, or some variation of maybe. So mm -hmm. they're going to go, well, actually, maybe. And you're going to, which is really a yes, right? We're going to pursue and ask the right questions because they're going, yes, we are. We, we might be considering doing that. Mm -hmm. But again, worst case scenario, if you're talking to 100 people in a day, Mm -hmm. And going, hey, Greg, do you have a realtor that's keeping you up to date on what's happening in the market? Would you mind if I kept in touch with you from time to time? Bingo. I won't spam you, right? I'll just, I'll, I'll just send you some, some relevant information now and again. Mm -hmm. Those are the type of people that turn into transactions down the road. So even if we're not picking up the, the, the transactions right this moment, mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're building a database of highly engaged people that allow us to build a predictable business, which is awesome. Love it. Okay, so so the results of this land and expand, this is the best way to move into new areas efficiently. It's so easy to be able to do this because everybody else, everybody's always going, well, I've, you know, I've got to, got to get my face on a park bench or on a bus stop in that area, or I've got to, you know, I've got to start building a brand and a presence. And I go, no, you don't. You need to start building clientele. That's what mm. you need to build. Well said. If you want to move into a new zip code, new price range, you need clientele, not a park bench. So just just skip the middleman and go right to it. Start picking up the phone and and, uh, and calling those people. You're going to generate new business from new clients. You're going to reach that daily contact goal by generating these leads and contacts on demand. Really, really simple for you to go through there. Keeping the buyer promise. This is one of my favorites. This one, this is so great. If you're a buyer's agent, this is such an awesome way for you to move your buyers through the pipeline really, really quickly. Because the truth is, if you're working with buyers, you're working on their timeline, not yours. And what we want to do is we want to shift more of that responsibility from their timeline to ours. We want to be in control as much as we can, which means if we have to go out and actively find homes that are not on the market that 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 our buyer wants to buy, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so really, really simple. You're going to identify the area. You should know this already, obviously, where the buyers want to live. And you want to be as specific as possible, right? If you can narrow it down to, hey, this, this you know, between... Main Street and Center Street and, you know, between First Avenue and Fifth Avenue, if it, in those several city blocks, that's where they want to live. Get real specific. And then you're going to generate as many, really as many, I put 500 in here, but really it's as many of the property and, and homeowner information as you can within that area. Okay. And then you're going to filter for specific home criteria, beds, baths, lot size, square footage, et cetera, right? You're going to, you, you know, these things, the must haves from your buyers. So you're going to find the homes inside of that that match that criteria. And then you're going to call using a script that looks like this. Hey, my name's Tyler, local real estate agent. I'm calling because I'm representing a client who's looking to move into your neighborhood. And mm -hmm. based on what I'm seeing, your home might be what they're looking for with home values where they currently are. Would you consider selling your home to a highly motivated buyer? So go. simple. So simple. The, the answer is either going to be yes or no. And again, if it's yes, great. You go down that path. If it's no, you go, no problem. Mm -hmm. 
do you have an agent that's keeping you up to date on what's happening in the market? Would you mind if I kept in touch from time to time, right? I mean, the worst case scenario here is you add somebody to your database every time you get a contact. And even if they say, yeah, I've got an agent, he or she is great. You go, oh, who's your agent? And they go, oh, well, it's Greg. And I go, oh, you're in good hands. And then you move on, right? Because you've got 499 other people for you to call and your and your numbers, right? It's about generating contacts on demand. I need people to talk to. Well, here's the data and the leads that I'm going to use to do that. Uh, really, really great, especially that the script changes a little bit if you've made offers and lost out. So let's say a multiple offer situation, you, you, you fit that into the script. Hey, I'm calling because I'm representing a client. You know, the home that sold just around the corner. Well, we had an offer in there. We didn't get it. My home, my, my buyer still wants to live in the neighborhood. Would you consider an offer from a highly motivated buyer? Wow. Right. I mean, I mean, piece of cake. You can double side to both those transactions, which is fantastic. You're going to ask the same questions. Do you know anybody looking to buy or sell in the next 30 days? You already know that they're not looking right because they're not willing to entertain an offer uh, and go through. Here's the thing. You're going to find sellers for your buyers. This is, I mean, if you're still straight, if you're in a market where there's low inventory, which most of us are right now, Greg, most of us are still two to four months of inventory. If sure. that's the case, just because your buyer can't find the house doesn't mean you can't, mm. right? You are the real estate professional. Your job is to help them find the property that, that they want, which means you might just have to go pick up the phone or knock on the doors and go, hey, this looks like something my buyer would want. Would you entertain an offer? Mm. And the answer is going to be yes, no, or maybe, and you move on. Uh, you double site more transactions, uh, grow your database. I mean, all of these techniques, you, you see a bunch of these these benefits, which is really cool. Now I have a fifth technique that I want to share, but I don't have slides for it, Greg. So okay. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to keep us right here. Um, and, and, uh, and I, and I call this the upsize downsize. Okay. Ooh, so technique upsize downsize. So when there is a listing in a given neighborhood, doesn't have to be your listing, could be any listing. What you're going to do is you're going to look at that house as it compares to everything else in the neighborhood. So let's say it's a larger than average home in the neighborhood. Maybe it's six beds, five baths, and everything else is three, four beds, right? Maybe maybe that's what the house looks like. You're going to call and you're going to go, hey, I'm, I'm a local real estate agent. The home around the corner from you is on the market right now. I'm curious to know if you are looking to upsize. I'm, 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 I'm calling to know if you need to move into something bigger. Now, wow. likewise, if the listing is the opposite, if it's if it's smaller than average, you go, hey, there's a home right around the corner from you. It's on the market right now. Are you interested in downsizing mm. right now? Wow. Yeah. Right? I'm working to get that property sold. Are you interested in downsizing? And again, the, the response is going to be yes, no, or maybe. And you go, no problem. Do you know anybody looking to buy or sell in the next 30 days? Do you have an agent keeping you up to date on what's happening in the market? Would you mind if I kept in touch with you from time to time? Those questions are so consistent across the board that, that, I mean, that should just be something that we do in our sleep, right? We should be able to just quote those questions in our sleep. Uh, and, uh, and, and every, every conversation that we're having is such a great way to do that. So all of these, I mean, and we're just scratching the surface, Greg, there, there are so many other great techniques to be able to generate contacts using GeoLeads and GeoLeads is great because we all work a geographic area of our choice, Right, we all we all want business close to home. We want to keep mileage and gas that co uh, costs on our on our bottom line as low as we can. I mean, we if we can generate business closest to home or in a specific neighborhood, this is the very very best way to do it. So um, let me do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip here. I want to show geo leads here, oh, yeah. um, but let me let me see. I've got to. Let's see here, doing multiple things. So let me log in here because I want to show, um, I want to show people what GeoLeads looks like because it's so easy to use. It's so simple to use. And uh, uh, let's see here, sharing my screen. Let's move this over here. Yeah, and I, and I appreciate you doing this, Tyler, because uh, I'm a visual learner and everything that you mentioned with the five techniques, I mean, truly incredible information and a test as you're pulling this up, a testament to what you're mentioning is the importance of asking great questions, yes. ultimately communicating face to face or over the phone with living, breathing people, making that a daily practice in whatever form or fashion you have mentioned that works for you, do it and really not avoid the activities that are really going to move the needle in your business. Everything you said 
anybody who's tuning into this, if they're doing any of these activities, it's going to have an impact on their bottom line, their revenue and transactions. So I love it, Tyler. This is great stuff. Well, and here's what I find, Greg, is, is we, is we're all human, right? And, mm -hmm. and the, the path of least resistance is often the path that we want to take, whether or not we're willing to admit it out loud, but that's the yeah. truth, right? And, and uh, in our business, it becomes really easy if we're not focused on money-making activities. Mm -hmm. It becomes really easy for us to fill our time with busy work. Busy right. work that, like you just said, doesn't move, that doesn't actually move the needle. At the mm -hmm. end of the day, we go, yeah, stay busy. I organized my desk and I used the restroom 47 times and I called my mom and checked in on her. It was a great day. Right. Yeah. But the truth is none of those things moved the needle. Mm -hmm. And so if we, if, if we know how simple it is to actually make a, a, a financial and economic difference in our business, then it becomes really easy. So what we're looking at right here on my screen is geo leads. So uh, geo leads allows you to pull up a map. You can pull up a map anywhere in the nation mm -hmm. um, and you can go zoom in on the area where you want to do business. So let's say any one of these techniques um, I'm going to use and I can either put an address in here and, and just pull proximity. So if I said, if I went like this, right, I could drop a pin and I could say, well, show me the closest 300 homes, right? Awesome. And it's going to show me geographically the closest 300 homes. Or I can go, hey, you know what? I'm just going to drop a pin on a map and I'm going to kind of click and drag. And I want to call in this area because this is where my, buyer wants to live, or this is where my listing is, is inside of this neighborhood. And once I, once I have that, then I can come in here and drop a pin on every single one of the homes inside mm -hmm. those boundaries. And now all of a sudden I have a workable list. I hit this create leads button. And now these 200 homes that are inside this area right here, I'm going to have names, phone numbers, email addresses all generated so that I can call and prospect to these people in a number of different ways. Likewise, wow. if I want to take that and upload it to Facebook and Instagram to, to target those people there using a custom list, we that's what we talked about on our last webinar that you and I did together. I mean, yeah. so, so easy to do, but you got to have the data to do it. You got to have the leads and the people. Uh, sure. I could even filter. I could even come in here and say, you know what? I don't want to call anybody that's owned their home less than three years and it'll filter out everybody with, with less, or excuse me, with less than three years of ownership. So yeah. makes it really, really simple for me to get targeted and then hit that button and create those leads. Makes yeah. it really simple for me to target exactly who I want to target. And I can just move area to area. If I go, Hey, I've got an hour to prospect today. I already called this neighborhood. Well, now let's, uh, now let's call this one right here. I'm going to move across the highway here and I'm going to start prospecting to everybody between highway 189 and main street. And now I want to call all these people and same thing. So it makes it really, really simple. And once we pull this data, it exists inside of your red X account forever. It'll, it'll, it'll always be there. So uh, with our geo leads plus product, Greg, we give 7,500 properties per month. Wow. 7,500. That's 90,000 a year that they can, that they can use for marketing prospecting. They can use that data for a number of different things to generate business in their, in their real estate business. So it's a fantastic tool uh, that allows them to come in and target exactly where, who they want to target. If I want to move into park city, for example, I know that, Hey, park city has those higher, higher than average homes here in Utah. Well, then I could come in here and say, I want the homeowners that are in this area right here. And, um, and I can get all of that information. There's 184 properties and I can just pull their information. I have all the contact information and I can prospect into Park City where the average home price is well into the seven figures. So hmm. really, really simple tool to use and really, really powerful when you pair that with our dialer. Uh, with uh, with the wave dialer, which is our dialer, we built the we built the wave dialer from the ground up. It was built for the prospect in mind. There's 175 of those 184 properties that we found contact information for. You can see names, you can see phone numbers. This is right there in Park City, real data, which is so cool. Um, but we built wave from the ground up with the real real estate pros uh, real estate a prospecting real estate agent, excuse me, in mind, and so. There's, there's no delay. There's no click. There's no pause. The audio call quality is just like you're calling on your phone, but it mm. allows you to work so much faster. And the way that I look at a dialer, Greg, is mm. when I take my taxes to my CPA, he doesn't, he doesn't do the long division on paper. 
Mm -hmm. right? He has a software tool that allows him to do it faster, more efficiently, make less mistakes. Well, a dialer is the same way, right? Mm -hmm. uh, my, uh, my dad is a, a contractor, built, built homes his whole life. Uh, he, he doesn't build with hammer and nails. He builds with a nail gun and power tools because again, faster, more effective, more cost efficient. So it's, it's, uh, it's the same thing here. Using a dialer as a prospecting agent, you want to be faster, more efficient, less, less, uh, less time wasted, uh, more focused. All of those things come with using a dialer. So here's, uh, here's what, um, what I'm going to do for everybody is uh, I'm going to, let me, let me skip ahead here to since we've gone through here. Okay. Let me put this phone number up right here. Anytime somebody signs up through lab coats, we, we waive our $150 setup fee. I'm going to keep doing that. But wow. anybody who wants to try geo leads with our dialer, normally it's 280 bucks. I'm going to, I'm going to let everybody try it for 199 bucks for their first month. All they got to do is call that number. So you can try geo leads plus that gets you names, phone numbers, and emails for up to um, 7,500 properties every single month. Once you have them, you have them. You can build a database of 90,000 properties over 12 months and use it to market. However you want to market, pick up the phone, knock on the doors, mail to them, uh, advertise on social media. You can use it in all those situations. Um, the dialer included there comes with a smart number, which is a registered number for your business. So you're not showing up as spam. If they call that number back, it rings right to your cell phone. Uh, but uh, uh, but no long term contracts either. So 199 bucks for the first month. If they if they if they see a difference in their business, they'll keep using it, uh, and uh, it'll be the best 199 bucks they've ever spent. All they got to do is call that number. Tyler, I mean, that was a, uh, just like last time we were hanging out, that was truly a masterclass. I mean, going through every aspect from the five, you know, kind of uh, pivotal, you know, prospecting opportunities that you can do in today's age, but utilizing what you've put here with Geo Leads is fantastic. And as you mentioned, the simplicity behind the software, uh, just the usability in case, but then also the integration of a dialer. I, I was going to ask you, hey, for anybody who doesn't know, but you already went through it. So yeah, uh, this is incredible stuff. I guess what I would say to everybody is, you know, encourage you to jump in, take a look at this, use that number as you mentioned. Uh, Jake did put the uh, the discount link in the code here. Um, you know, if you happen to tune in towards the end of this and you missed some of the incredible bombs that Tyler was dropping. Go back to YouTube, watch the whole thing, and then reach out to this man directly. Incredible stuff through Red X as always. Uh, I can't thank everybody enough for taking the time, for asking incredible questions. And uh, Tyler, always a pleasure, my friend. You nail it. Uh, you're Absolutely. So appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Awesome to be here. Um, and, uh, and I look forward to the next one, Greg. Awesome. Awesome. And likewise, my friend and everybody, thank you as always for your time, attention, love and support here with Lab Code Agents. We appreciate you. We love you. We'll catch you on the next live webinar here at LCA. Take care.